Hello and welcome back to Noble Panda, where today we are going to finish off our first season in the Elite Siren with Mundolan. Currently we sit in 6th on the table, 9 points out of 1st place, 4 points out of 3rd place, a lot of ground to make up. Finally our goal difference is at 0 though, so not too bad. We have this game coming up against Bodo Glimt. And as you can see, this has been a theme so far throughout the season. Strength versus strength. We can g score goals. We concede a lot of goals. And uh, most of our opponents seem to be really a lot better at defense. Early on, we had Johansson pass the ball across to Asin, who had his shot, but uh, wasn't able to secure it. Bashandi gathers the rebound, dribbles back inside. Had a wonderful shot, but the goalie was able to deflect it. Here's Bodo with an attempt, and Madsen gets two saves back-to-back -back on it. Here's a third save for Madsen in a row against Bodo Glimt. Here's Bashandi passing the ball to Johansson. Here's Tang passing the ball into Martinson, who then passes it to Andresen, but he was just offside, so that goal is not going to count. At halftime... We do find ourselves in a draw. Hopefully we can uh, secure a point here in the second half coming up. All right, corner kick coming in here to Andresen and he puts it just over the bar. Here, Bodo glimped go, passing the ball right over the back of our defense. I thought we were in good position to stop that. And oh my gosh, they almost got a goal. How close was that? Mere inches away. Whew. Here we go, here's Johansson making his run, pushing the ball out, passes it all the way across to Martinson who uses his head and knocks it in to get our first goal of the game. Here is Bodo Glimp trying to counter that, see what they can do, and Madsen stands strong, but the rebound doesn't get pushed out far enough and he saves it again. Here's the ball coming through to Captain Tang here who lays it off to Martinson. He shoots it but it goes right off the goalpost and we can't corral it. Here's another opportunity for Helen to pass the ball but it got stopped by the defense and this is not going to end well for us as they dribble through our defense leaving it wide open, stopping it again but they gather the rebound and they put it in the back of the net for 1-1 and that is how the game ended. Last second goal. Simulated this game against Volrenga. They were in the bottom portion of the table. Just like previous episode, just going to simulate the games that uh, teams are below us. We also simulate this one against Halgesund, and we won that one 3-2. And Lillestrom, we won that one 2-1. As you can see, the month of October was nice to us in simulation, and we got a draw in the one game that we played. So... Seems like our team is kind of getting better. So we are on 42 points now after those four games. We've gained another 10, four points out of first now instead of nine, which is good. We are one point out of the lowest European qualifying spots. Let's see if we can't change our fortunes here in the last couple games we have in the season. All right, here we are. We've uh, changed up our formation a little bit. It was suggested in the comments below that I should... Uh, put two center defenders in the back of my defense to maybe tighten things up a little bit. So that's what we're going to do here as we take on the Rosenborg. Early on here, Rosenborg Jiang finds Bashandi, who passes it into Tang. Tang finds Andreasen, who created a wide opening, runs down the middle of it, and gets his first goal of the game. There's another opportunity, but this time for Rosenborg and Madsen stood strong and was able to stop that shot. Here we go, they're running down our defense. Jiang was there and they put it right in the back of the net. Unfortunate, but at halftime, at least it's a 1-1 draw at the moment. 51st minute in the second half, Jiang finds Bashandi. Bashandi finds Tang, who's splitting the defense. Captain Tang with the shot and he gets his first goal of the game. Here Rosenborg go running down the right hand side in the 67th minute. They pass the ball in and our defender gets a boot on it. Luckily it did not go in for an own goal and the rebound was able to be blocked by Madsen. 
and the 77th minute, they get a nice little scoop and turn here and Madsen somehow saw it coming and was able to push it out. Later on, Rosenborg gets another opportunity. Madsen kept a tight angle and was able to push it out for us. Here's Jiang making a run, trying to see if there's an opening. Passes the ball to Anderson who heads it back to Johansson. Johansson, can we secure the victory? And he took one too many touches and it was not there. Here's Andresen with the ball, trying to see what he can do. Passes it outside to Austin. Austin dribbling on the inside here. Takes a shot and the goalie was able to push it just wide in the fourth minute of stoppage time. After that corner, I just boot the ball to the end of the field because we have just beaten Rosenborg, one of the best teams in Elite CRN. Simulated this game against Tromso. We drew 1-1. Have this game coming up against Molda. Early in the game, Molda took an opportunity. We were able to block it. This is a game with most of our reserve players here. So we've got Abubakar, who actually is more of a starter. He gets a, his opportunities to come in mostly as a substitute. And there is our goalie. Imam, who is the backup at the moment. We do have a goalie in our uh, youth academy that could come in and replace him soon. Here's Brekka, who's actually a faster wing back than the one that we have starting, but his defense is lacking, and so we're training that up for him. Here's a Bubakar passing it back to Andresen, but this is not Sebastian Andresen, that is Victor Andresen. Oh no, Molda has split our defense and they get the tying goal. Here comes Abubakar again, trying to find a way to make something happen to see if we can't get the lead again. Dribbling to the inside and gets taken out. They get a yellow card for that. Here's Breka with the free kick, passing it over the top into Magyar, who gets his goal. Originally, Magyar was a starter, but he's now been delegated to reserve responsibilities with Martinson and... Sebastian Andresen is our starters. And just like that, Molda have turned around and gotten the game back into a 2-2 tie. That was a silly mistake and it was unattended, but it did cause a penalty and we were not able to stop that penalty. So at halftime, we find ourselves in a 3-2 deficit against Molda. Coming out in the second half, Molda kept the attack on and they were able to break down our defense rather easily. Just trying to find some of the players that we may or may not keep in the upcoming season. As Molda had yet another opportunity right here and that one is the dagger in the heart. 5-2 deficit here to Molda. Here's Ibrahim passing the ball over to Ramsey seeing if we can't get back in it. And Ramsey puts a shot on it and got a lucky bounce off the goalie's hand and into the net. Late in the game in the 82nd minute tried to make something happen but it just wasn't there on the passing distance. Here's Jarvanen who's actually a pretty decent center defender who could become a starter here shortly. But he had one touch too many and pushed the ball out. And here's the last game of the season against Viking. After looking at the standings, we didn't stand much chance to qualify into third place and get a European spot. So as we look at the standings here, Bodo, Glimp, Molda, Rosenborg, and Stabek all finished ahead of us. As you can tell, our goal difference, even if we would have tied with Rosenborg, wouldn't have gotten us. So that is why we quick send that game against Viking at the end of the season. Not too bad though, at least we finished with a positive goal difference. Top goal scorer for our team was Sebastian Andresen, followed by Khalad Bashandi. Top assist man was Sebastian Andresen, also followed by Khalad Bashandi. Clearly, these are both our best players on our team. We finished behind the Golden Boot race, Sigurdarsson of Molda. And Andresen won the assist and our clean sheet for Madsen. Well, as you know, we give up a lot of goals, so he uh, is down there in 14th. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. This concludes the first season 
I will do a squad report video just showing the growth that we've had in the first season on players and the players we have in the Youth Academy to look forward to in the following season. Hope you're all having a great day. We'll see you next time on Noble Panda.